Well, this is going to be a quick and simple one. How to use wood uh, platforms as part of building a garden plot. Well, there's actually several really stupid things you can do. Like, you could actually replace these things on the side with the platforms. And the water won't really care. One thing I already did with these, though, is that, like, by default, they have a strip of water going straight through the middle, which is more water than you need, so I put in a little bit of dirt to reduce the amount of water. But uh, another thing is that you don't need to leave the water block empty. Like here, I can put a uh, fence post there and a torch, and it's still a water block. Having a fence post there doesn't remove the water, it just um, adds to it. But the same is true of using slabs. See, put the slab there. Uh, okay, so now I want to get a bucket. Well, bucket. Um, yeah, sure, empty bucket. I had an empty bucket for my survival inventory. Now, put the empty bucket here. So, watch this. See? That had water in it. And if I wasn't freaking creative... Oh! Oh, right, of course. Silly me. Forgot. It just duplicates the bucket when you do it in creative mode. Anyway, now, I place water. In there and now this uh, block here that has a slab if you wanted to you could make a path through a large field out of these and just you know have water under that I, I what the mission is that so someone did that on DM James's server which worked quite well honestly and this particular world I haven't actually spent a whole lot of time trying to uh, you know uh, make things super pretty. I, I just uh, did some basics. Okay, I say basics when I put, uh, when I replaced wooden uh, pillars with these uh, uh, stone st steps, but eh, yeah. But yeah, it's like, it's actually one of the things with Minecraft farming that just makes farming so much easier when you realize you don't actually need to have open pits full of water for the garden to be watered. You can actually hide them under wood slabs and have it uh, work properly. Now, if only I could get this to, to go back to being a path. But alas, no. You can't have a path under anything. Now, the game can force spawn it, but I can't make it that way. Annoying. Oh, well. But anyways, yeah. This trick. Really, really good trick. Because... One of the things that annoys me most with uh, farmers and is the reason why I moved the uh, uh, thing to the corner when it was on, on here is that when you jump on a farm plot, it uh, causes the soil to stop being considered tilled. See? Oops, that was the wrong tool. Oh, well. So, you know, preventing the farmers from accidentally trampling the thing is a major task, actually, because the farmers will jump up and down on top of this, jump off of it, onto the uh, uh, crops they're trying to grow and create a big dead zone around it. Well, also 
jumping in and out of water can also be an annoyance. And it's the same logic behind why I made this steps instead of a solid mulk. So you don't have to jump when you do steps like that. Anyway, though. Quick, simple demo. <laughs> Hopefully useful.